We've already seen a lot of bionic robots from many sources, especially in movies. You are under arrest. They spark the wild imagination of people regarding a world where we could coexist with these humanoid robots. It may seem impossible back in the days when we couldn't even make a robotic arm, but at the present, it is almost at hand. With the combined powers of robotics and AI, one company made breakthroughs and big achievements in the field of making humanoid robots. Let's talk about EX Robots. We both worked in a robot company that named EX Robots. Recently, we have created a robot according to his image. It's very handsome, right? Okay, next he will introduce his twin brothers to you. Okay. Hello, guys. My name is Shirely, and I'm an R&D engineer. 大家好,我叫CRIE,我是一名研发工程师 in fact, we are creating a robot building in China. This is absolutely unique around the world. The Panjin High Tech Zone in Dalian is home to a high tech company called EX Robot. It is the first company in China to make intelligent bionic humanoid robots. The term bionic human is defined by someone who has remarkable abilities due to electronic technology replacing some of their body components, such as being unusually strong or having exceptional vision. They combined the powers of robotics and artificial intelligence to make this all happen. Robotics is a branch of engineering that deals with how robots are thought up, designed, made, and used. Making intelligent machines that can assist people in a variety of ways is the aim of robotics. Robotics can take many different shapes. A robot can look like a person, which is similar to how people use software to do rules-based tasks that they do over and over again. Artificial intelligence, on the other hand, is when machines, especially computer systems, try to act like people. Expert systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, and machine vision are all examples of how AI can be used. Artificial intelligence, AI, allows machines to learn from their mistakes, adapt to new information, and do tasks that humans do. Most AI examples you hear about today, like computers that play chess or cars that drive themselves, with the powers of these combined. EX has made core products that are different from the traditional robots that look like machines. They are intelligent humanoid service robots that can be divided into intelligent voice dialogue robots, intelligent public service robots, intelligent medical guidance robots, and smart home control robots. Customized, ultra-realistic interactive robots and other types of these robots will be used in businesses, hospitals, schools, and other places in everyday life. These robots will become assets if they are developed with care and good intention. I'm sure we will love seeing a humanoid robot in person. It's intriguing to see how close they are to a human being's appearance. Fortunately, there will be a place for that. In the city of Dalian, China, EX Robots has built a museum with robots that look like they came from science fictions. These robots have veins in their legs and can show goosebumps on their skin. EX Robots has the coolest robot skin that we've seen so far, and it can mimic goosebumps, palm lines, and vein patterns that are drawn during the process of painting and processing the robot's faces, hands, and bodies. Their facial expressions are on point and they look natural. The skin is made of medical grade bionic silicone and the goosebumps on the skin, the veins on the feet, and the palm lines, they're all very realistic, Yang Jiangwo, the vice president said. The skin of the robots are very intricate and made with expertise because if it's too hard, it will look unnatural wherein if it's too soft, it might tear easily. The EX Future and Science Museum shows off advanced robotic technology that is meant to make robots as flexible and lifelike as possible. The museum opened in September 2021, and it has robots that look like Steve Jobs and Albert Einstein. In a video about the exhibit that was uploaded in February, the two robots wave and wish visitors a happy Chinese New Year. It feels like the movie Westworld when you're inside the museum. 
Michael Crichton is the author and director of the 1973 American science fiction western film Westworld. In the movie, lifelike androids that are part of an interactive theme park for adults-only visitors suddenly start acting strangely. Westworld. Your attention, please. We will soon be landing at Westworld, the ultimate resort. We have you on grid five, over. It consists of three worlds of the past. Locking in now. Worlds where you can live out your every fantasy. There's Roman world, the lusty, decadent delights of Imperial Pompeii. Notify ground crews. Medieval world, chivalry and combat in 13th century Europe. And West world, lawless violence on the American frontier of 1880. Each resort is maintained by reliable computer technology and people by lifelike robot men and women. Let's stand by for resort activation. Ready on six, on five, on four, on three, on two. Activate now. Our robots are programmed to provide you with an unforgettable vacation. Dinner at seven, breakfast at 6.30. Get lunch on your own. Don't look like much here, but we have everything. Mean to tell me he's a robot? What'll it be? Uh, vodka martini on the rocks with a twist of lemon. Very dry, please. Just give him whiskey. He's new in town. Many elements of the Delos Resort are potentially dangerous. That's part of the appeal. Go on. You say something, boy. Kill him. Your move. Technology is designed to provide all this in complete safety. In Westworld, frustrations find release. Desire ends in satisfaction. Let me handle it. And all in a controlled environment. That's not supposed to happen. We know you'll enjoy your stay in Westworld. Isn't it cool that you can experience the inside of a museum? As technology envelopes the world, it is wonderful to see what the human's pursuit of perfection has given us. It just shows how people look for innovations and alternative ways to help others. What do you think about humanoid robots? Are you skeptical about their role in the world in the future? Let us know while you express yourself in the comments below. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We wish you a happy day and as always, see you at the next one.